Well, one thing about the Northern Sun Conference, occasionally in Division II you can see a three-sport athlete, and occasionally they could be all-conference in those three sports. But four sports, all-conference? All I can say is, wow. Nick Corner has the story. Michaela Barando knew early during her high school career that Northern State would be the spot for her. I grew up in Frederick, South Dakota, which is really close to Aberdeen. So I went to a lot of the NSU basketball games growing up, and just being a part of that atmosphere seemed like something I really wanted to do. She chose Division II for a reason, for an opportunity to compete in more than one sport. Coach Fredrickson contacted me after watching me play at some summer tournaments and things like that. Coach Fuller contacted me about track, and it was going to be one of the few Division II schools that was willing to let me participate in two sports. So the original plan was just basketball and uh, outdoor track, but uh, once Coach Bierke took over the head cross-country position, he talked to Coach Fred, and I was able to do cross-country conference meet, which I'm not sure why Coach Fredrickson changed his mind about cross-country, but I'm really glad he did. Rondo was a standout on the women's basketball team, the cross-country team, and the indoor track and field team while excelling in the classroom. She became the first NSU athlete to earn Capital One Academic All-American twice, and she did it in the same year. It's a really neat honor uh, just to be able to be focused in the classroom as well as on the court, I hope, inspires a lot of people growing up, not just to worry about athletics, but also the academic aspect. Barando holds a 4.0 GPA as an English major and received the Miles Brand All Academic with Distinction Award this spring. On the court, she scored over 1,000 points for the Wolves basketball team, even after missing a large chunk of her junior season with a knee injury. I had never really had to sit out before in my entire life, so definitely gave me a different perspective. Uh, it was a good experience to be able to cheer on my team and contribute to my team in a different way. She rebounded from the injury to earn NSIC All-Conference honors in basketball, cross-country, and outdoor track and field. And this winter, she has a chance to make it a four-sport during the indoor track and field season. For me personally, it would be a great way to just kind of finish my career at Northern, uh, to finish on a high note after having such a good year and then struggling for a couple years. Just to get back to that competitive level would personally be great. As if holding a perfect GPA and competing in multiple sports is not enough, Barando also co-hosted the NSU Campus TV show last year, Tracking the Wolves, interviewing other student athletes and coaches. Welcome to Tracking the Wolves, the one, the only sports show at Northern State. I'm Michaela Barando. Tracking the Wolves was a great experience. Um, one of the downsides of being an athlete and so focused on academics is you are very focused and you have such a set mindset and planned everything out and tracking the wolves gave me a chance to just kind of let loose and kind of fly by the seat of my pants and just have fun with things. And her plans for after college? The same as any other graduate. Get a job. <laughs> I hope to get a teaching job somewhere um, and ideally I would eventually work into a coaching position, basketball track and cross country of course. There's a young lady with a big future, Butch. I'm not sure I should say this, Mike, but, uh, you know, I'm going to be cheering for her to be all-conference as the commissioner in four sports. Well, she's quite a young lady, quite an athlete, too. We wish her the best.